Good afternoon class, my name is Luis Acevedo and I will be doing my presentation on natural selection. Now you may ask, what exactly is natural selection? Natural selection can be defined as the process whereby organisms better adapt to their environment and tend to survive and produce more offspring. Now, who invented this theory? The theory of its action was first fully expounded by Charles Darwin and is now believed to be the main process that brings about evolution. Now, you may ask, who is Charles Darwin? Born February 12, 1809, and died April 19, 1882, Charles Darwin is an English naturalist who is best known for his contributions to the science of evolution. Now, some examples of natural selection are the following. In an ecosystem, some giraffes have long necks and others have short necks. If something caused the low-lying shrubs to die out, the giraffes with short necks would not eat enough food. After a few generations, all the giraffes would have long necks. A second example of natural selection would be the following. Galapagos finches all have different types of beaks. During droughts, the, fi the finches with larger beaks survived better than those with smaller beaks. During rainy times, more small seeds would be produced. Therefore, the finches with the smaller beaks would fare better. Now, how is natural selection all tied in with evolution? Well, natural selection is the process through which this change occurs. It is the driving force of evolution. Now, to sum it all up, Natural selection is a powerful constructive force because the environment acts as a filter, persistently selecting those minute variations in one direction. For example, if the climate changes and it becomes colder, those incapable of dealing with those lower temperatures will die and not get the chance to reproduce. Any change in any gene that results in a trait that has even a tiny statistical advantage will be favored. Repeat these millions and millions of times in a population and over many generations, you will see that the organism adapts to the new climate. And when populations are split and adapt to different environments, you get new species formings. This has been my presentation on natural selection. Thank you.